good morning students our today's topic is dynamic state of body constituents the concept of metabolism living organisms be it a simple bacterial cell protozoans plant or an animal cell contain thousands of organic compounds these compounds or biomolecules are present in certain concentrations which are expressed as moles per cell or moles per liter etc all these molecules have a turnover this means that they are constantly being changed into some other biomolecules and also made from some other biomolecules this breaking and making is through chemical reactions constantly occurring in living organism together all these chemical reactions are called metabolism so in all the living cells some changes are occurring some molecular movement also always takes place some bonds are formed and some are broken so this all changes are known as metabolism each of the metabolic reactions result in the transformation of biomolecules a few examples for such metabolic transformations are removal of carbon dioxide from amino acids making an amino acid into an amine hydrolysis of a glycosidic bond in a disaccharide etc majority of these metabolic reactions do not occur in isolation akeli nahi hoti but always linked to some other reactions in other words metabolites are converted into each other in a series of linked reactions called metabolic pathways these metabolic pathways are similar to the automobile traffic in a city these pathways are either linear or circular these pathways criss cross each other that is there are traffic junctions also flow of metabolites through metabolic pathways has a definite rate and direction like automobile traffic this metabolites flow is called the dynamic state of body constituents some movement is there that is known as the dynamic state of body constituents another feature of this metabolic reaction is that every chemical reaction is catalyzed reaction some catalyst is used in that reaction there is no uncatalyzed metabolic conversion in living systems even carbon dioxide dissolving in water that is a physical process is catalyzed reaction in living system in, in our bodies that is also take place with the help of enzymes or catalysts the catalyst which fastens the rate of given metabolic conversions are also proteins the, these proteins with catalytic power are called as enzymes metabolic basis for living metabolic pathways can lead to a more complex structure from a simpler structures example is acetic acid becomes cholesterol or lead to a simple structures from a complex structures example glucose becomes lactic acid in our skeletal muscles so in these reactions sometimes the complex molecules breaks into simpler molecules and sometimes simple molecules combine to form complex molecule when simple molecules join to form complex molecule or bigger molecules this type of pathway is known as anabolic pathway on the other hand when the complex molecule breaks into simple molecules it is known as catabolic pathway anabolic pathways consumes energy in that energy is used assembly of a protein from amino acids require energy when amino acids combine together to form proteins for this process energy is required on the other hand catabolic pathways lead to release of energy example when glucose is degraded to lactic acid in our skeletal muscle energy is liberated 
this metabolic pathway from glucose to lactic acid which occurs in 10 metabolic steps is called glycolysis the detail of this we will study in the chapter of respiration living organisms have learned to trap this energy liberated during degradation and store it in the form of chemical bonds in living organisms this released energy is stored in the form of bonds like atp molecules and when needed this bond energy is utilized for biosynthetic osmotic and mechanical work that we perform for any activity the most important form of energy currency in living systems is the bond energy in a chemical called ATP that is adenosine triphosphate the living system thousands of chemical compounds in a living organism called metabolites or biomolecules are present at concentrations characteristics of each of them for example the blood concentration of glucose in a normal healthy person is 4.5 to 5 millimole the most important fact of biological system is that all lo- living organisms exist in a steady state characterized by concentration of each of these molecule har kisi ki concentration ek fixed hai ek level fixed hai they are in a steady state constant state pe hain these biomolecules are in a metabolic flux बट उसमें जो भी मूवमेंट है मॉलिक्यूल्स की वो कंटिन्यूस हो रही है एनी केमिकल और फिजिकल प्रोसेस मूव स्पॉन्टेनियसली टू इक्लिब्रियम जब भी कहीं ये मूवमेंट होगी तो वो सिस्टम इक्लिब्रियम में आ जाएगा बट वन शुड रिमेंबर इन फिजिक्स दैट सिस्टम्स एट इक्लिब्रियम कैन नॉट परफॉर्म वर्क अगर इफ इफ अ सिस्टम कम्स टू इक्लिब्रियम देन इट विल नॉट परफॉर्म एनी वर्क as living organisms work continuously they cannot afford to reach equilibrium hence the living state is a non equilibrium state steady state to be able to perform work living process is a constant effort to prevent falling into equilibrium this is achieved by energy input so ऑर्गेनिजम्स में क्या है कि वो इक्लिब्रियम पे ना आए इसके लिए उनमें मेटाबॉलिज्म से जो एनर्जी आ रही है वो उसको यूज़ कर रहे हैं और कुछ एक्टिविटीज़ कर रहे हैं हेंस द लिविंग स्टेट एंड द मेटाबॉलिज्म आर सिनोनिमस सेम वर्ड्स हैं सेम मीनिंग है समझिए विदाउट मेटाबोलिज्म देर कैन नॉट बी अ लिविंग स्टेट सो द समरी इज ऑफ दिस इज पैराग्राफ इज द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर नॉट इन इक्लिब्रियम because system at equilibrium cannot perform work as living organisms work continuously they cannot afford to reach equilibrium hence the living state is in a non equilibrium steady state to be able to perform work they are always in a non equilibrium steady state level same rahega but they are not always at equilibrium this is achieved by energy input provided by metabolism enzymes almost all enzymes are proteins there are some nucleic acids that behaves like enzymes these are called ribozymes the nucleic acids which behave like enzyme are known as ribozymes an enzyme like any protein has a primary structure that is the amino acid sequence of the protein they are in a straight chain an enzyme like any protein has a secondary and a tertiary structure also the backbone of the protein chain folds upon itself and chain criss cross itself and hence many crevices or pockets are made one such pocket is the active site on the enzymes some active sites are or pockets are present which are known as active site an active site of an enzyme is a pocket into which the substrate fits 
on this pocket the substrate comes and fits into this thus enzymes through their active site catalyzes reaction at high rate when substrate fixes to the active site then the reaction acts on that and chemical reaction occurs at the fast rate enzymes catalyzes diff uh, catalysis different from inorganic catalysts in many ways but one major difference is inorganic catalysts work efficiently at high temperature and high pressure while enzymes get damaged at high temperature above 40 degree centigrade so difference between inorganic catalysts and enzymes inorganic catalyst can work even at high temperature and pressure but enzymes can work only at a, a, a required temperature approximately 40 degree centigrade however enzymes isolated from organisms who live under extreme high temperature conditions like hot vents sulfur springs are stable and retain their catalytic power even at high temperatures up to 80 to 90 degree centigrade the some organisms are present in very hot environments in them this enzyme the enzyme can even work at 80 to 90 degree centigrade because now they have adapted to that conditions thermal stability is thus an important quality of such enzymes isolated from thermophilic organisms thermophilic means which have the wide range of temperature difference i hope this is clear next chemical reactions we will study afterwards thank you